Hey everybody, Orpheolus here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum. Last time, we made it through Route 209 in here in Silesian Town. And we managed to get ourselves a new team member, Deathblade. Between episodes, I granted him up to level 26. Now then, there's a couple things I should note about Route 209 before I forget. The first thing is that, well, there are two other Pokemon available there, that being Mime Jr. and Bonsly. The reason why I didn't go over those vials right then and there is because they'll, they'll be available much later on, but if you're playing with Diamond and Pearl, quick one-on-one -on -one bios, um, besides they live level level 15 with the, with the learning of Mimic, because they have to learn Mimic, um, Bonsly, more defensive, it has like high attack and defense, low speed, all around decent Pokemon, does be careful with special type moves, and then, um, Mime Jr., the complete opposite, more special base, beware physical type moves, psychic type, yada yada yada. I'll be going over those Pokemon much later on because they, they will be available in Platinum, just not in Diamond... Just not at this very time in their evolved form. So that's why I'm not fully going over those bios. Next thing! Chanseys! Chanseys have a chance of, um, holding a lucky egg. Very rare, like 5% chance on a 5% encounter. Stupidly rare, go back to, uh... The, the third bonus episode of XD to hear my rant about Lucky Eggs. Well, between episodes. First Chansey. Yep. Which is up because in about the 20 minutes or so it took to process like bolt to process the previous episode, I, just, I grounded him up. Only one Chansey. And that was like towards the end of it saying, oh my god, there you are, Chansey. They provide a lot of experience and, well, Dropped a lucky egg. Yeah, that is why I recommend teaching Thief and Saving Thief for them because you'll be able to get yourself lucky eggs. And yeah. Nothing else really happened. I think I will be taking this lucky egg because he's all caught up. Lucky eggs will primarily be used when I'm doing off screen grinding and for here, um also one thing if we Um why don't you let me do the select trick? Oh, that's... Oh, I know why. Because I'm not... Because I'm in the wrong menu. I think I'm gonna give you the sky plate. There you are. Yeah, I was doing a select trick that lets you scroll through your bag a lot faster, but... Eh. Anyways, this time, we are going to go through Silesian Town. And first things first, we got some Persian berries. What's next? Nana berries. Always good for, uh, the contest. Some Nanam, more Nanam, and I don't recognize this berry. It's probably gonna be one of those rear ones. Figgy, that's why I don't. If it's not obvious already, I don't do berries. In fact, I probably have some berries growing in Omega Ruby that I just remembered that I'm probably never gonna even raise. Oh well. Anyways, next time I wanna talk to this guy. Your encounters with Pokemon can be considered your shared history. Here's the Pokechip called Pokemon History. Use it to see the history of Pokemon catches. So pretty much this is the Pokemon you've obtained last in terms of Pokedex. Shows most recently obtained Pokemon. So if we scroll on down. Yeah, so you can kind of see like uh, which ones did I get. Yep. I don't really use this thing too much. I mean, it's kind of useful for saying, okay, did I catch this Pokemon recently? Yes, I did. Alright, but that's not the only new Pokesh new uh, thing in town. What we want to do is come over here into the, if we pan over, the Pokemon Daycare. So yeah, so you can take Pokemon out and then you can go ahead and breed them. Yeah, so you can go happily go ahead and take my slave too. No, I don't need you to raise two Pokemon. Now then, this is where breeding comes in because you can actually breed Pokemon and uh, and get eggs, but anyways, you want to leave and come back, and this guy should appear. Are you a fan of the Pokemon Daycare couple like me? I got a hold of something quite useful. It's the latest Poketch chef from the Poke from the Poketch company. What's more, they developed it in collaboration with the Daycare. Since you're a fellow fan of the Daycare, I'm compelled to share this. We obtained the Daycare checkers, so pretty much you can see like what level your Pokemon is at. And such, it's actually extremely useful. In fact, I actually like this a lot because when you're out on your adventure, you can see. Okay, looks like my Bidoof is getting some experience. Now it should be getting up to level six pretty darn soon because every step in the daycare equals one experience points. 
Now that does cost money to, uh, to get your ransom back. Oh wait, no, I don't want to race two Pokemon. I want to take my Slave 2 back. I need my HM Slave even though I don't really need Cut too much in the future. And yeah. You know what? That is something we can do. I I really like doing this. Taking a nope. Taking a random Pokemon and leaving it in the daycare and seeing what level will it be once we uh finish the game. It's something that I, I like doing a lot. In fact, I do this in almost every single playthrough. It's like once I get to the daycare, I leave two Pokemon in and see how high they can get. Yeah, yeah, I did this in Omega Ruby once. I had a level 100 Wingle and a level 100 Tailo because people who don't know Omega Ruby, there are two daycares in the game. Yeah. So I'll let that sizzle in the daycare and get back to my my team checker. And yeah, so you, you can talk to this man and he'll be able to give you some eggs. You know, everybody wants their eggs. Now anyways, come on in here. Oh, welcome! You saw the notice outside us hiring, right? No, I didn't. Is that a Pokedex there? Then you must know Professor Rowan. You're just Pokemon searching answer we've been looking for. Ponyta, I want you to bring me one. You must bring it today or we're not going to run our main article. I'll pay you with the heart skins and Pokeballs for it. Hence, Ponyta is actually to the north. Yeah, this, po this guy will assign a random Pokemon from your Pokedex and then make you search out for it. Since Ponyta is right out here, I think I might as well go ahead and catch one. And then probably give it to the man, so, uh... Be right back. Yeah, there was a Scyther there. Yeah, Return is actually starting to do a lot of damage, so I'll probably be relaying a lot on Return now. So, come on! Hello, my Ponyta! Too bad I'm not going to be using you. Star Fury! I know you have Fury, bud! You don't need to kill a freaking horse! Star Fury, your Fury knows no bounds. It wants to learn to move. Hmm. Well, you want to learn Wish. I really don't care for Wish that much. What it does is that you wish one turn and then the next turn it heals you for half health. They're a lot better healing moves. Now, can I get this frickin' pony to now? Now, Star Fury, I know you have anger issues. But you don't need to kill the pony to. Oh, damn. I know Ponydos don't have the uh, best defenses, but holy smokes. Star Fury, I think you might need to go into therapy. You are just so, so full of rage. Now, can I catch this pony that long last? Two. Three. Guess I didn't need to yawn. I'll see you guys back at the guy. Here you go, sir. One horse that happens to be on fire. Oh, that's it, Ponyta. Thank you. Let's have a closer look. Mm, I see. Right, right. That's it. Thank you. I can now write a great article now. This is where your trouble is. That much, but thanks. We obtained, uh... You gave me horrible balls! And a heart seal, which is always happily accepted. 
Yes, this is a daily event you'll get one of many different Pokeballs. Some of the better Pokeballs includes the ever so coveted Quick Balls. The Pokemon probably has Quick Balls. And I'll see you guys back outside. Back outside. I want to go on ahead and head into here. Let's see what the Pokemon has. Because I remember this guy sells something really good. Um, Dusk Balls. Actually, that is pretty darn good. Dust balls, like I said, they're most effective in the night. I'm gonna buy like nine of them just to be safe. But yeah, dust balls, they are actually very good Pokeballs, as in like during the nighttime, they are possibly more effective than than Ultra Balls. Yeah, they are very good. In fact, I would say they're probably like the third best balls in, in Pokemon right now. As in this point in the series. Nope, nothing in here. This house doesn't have anything in use. It's that house right there. Yeah, we've been doing many laps around. I really don't like the layout of the second half. I mean, I mean, whose idea was it saying, Hey, Johnny, uh, why don't we go ahead and make a town as annoyingly constructed as possible? Yeah, that's not a good, great idea. Is that sure you get a PP up increases the amount of times you can use, increases the PP you have for a move. So if you have a po Pokemon with low PP on a move, such as, um, I don't know, Stone Age, for example, that only has 5 PP, you can go ahead and use a lot more of them. Now, there's a house right there that I could go into right now, but we don't really have a purpose to go in there right now, and so we're going to go head on in here. Welcome to Sleepy Sound Ruins, and this Eternal Forest theme is playing again! If it's not obvious already, I love the Eternal Forest theme. Now, you really want to go in here. I probably didn't need the Elder Balls, but anyways, you want to go ahead and check these dead end ruins, but there is one new Pokemon here! Unknown. Well, right here we get a Fire Stone. You see, evolve Fire type Pokemon, Fire type Pokemon such as Growlithe, Vulpix, um, Eevee. Who else? I swear there might be something else, but mostly it's for Eevee. But anyways, unknown. Well, top floor, lower left, top right, top left, top left, lower left. What is this one? Okay, top right. Okay. Yeah, this tells you the order you need to go down. Yeah, this is in the language of the unknown. Unknown! It has many more... It has more forms than it has uses. Anyways, this guy right here is a trainer. Nope. I heard there's a... There's a hidden machine defog somewhere in the ruin. Yeah, somewhere lost. No, actually, you want to remember that guy for much later. But unknown! It sucks. It only knows one move hidden power. Yeah, it only counts out about 60 or so. 70, I do believe. It really isn't that good. Now I'm checking these dead end rooms just to check to see if there's any items because you can encounter um, the Firestone, Thunderstone, and the Whatchamacallit Zone. Now did I heal? No, I did not. Roadside heal! But in all reality, Unknown sucks. It only has one move. It's stats are mediocre. Pretty much the best thing about it is that you get some special attack EVs. That's about it. But, much, much like the other Pokemon, this is the only place you can encounter Unknown in the entire game and if you want to complete the Pokédex and such for the post-game, you have to come here. But anyways, we got a Ruin Maniac here, I'll see you guys in the battle. Finally. The search must continue. Andy, I mean, I know my way around the ruins just now. I'm not for sure like which areas- Oh, this guy has a Water Stone, okay. So the Thunder Stone's much later on. Yeah, I have like more than enough water stones from the underground. And yeah. Anyways, we're gonna come up up this way, but yeah, I think once this repeller wears off, I'm gonna go ahead and uh probably take it off. Anyways, right here's the Thunderstone. So my memory wasn't crap after all. But anyways. Oh shoot, this wasn't the area. I'm thinking I'm thinking of something else, so well. But yeah, I mean, I don't have too many members of this place being too annoying. But anyways, at the bottom, friendship. All, mm. all lives touch other. Mm. Lives to create something. A new and alive. You see, my unknownian isn't horrible. Well, this is the unknown that we need to encounter. It's the D, and it's level 28 too. 
Wow. That's stronger than I remember these things. Well, uh, I promise you won't kill one because you actually do want to catch one. Trust me in this, you want to catch one unknown. Or 26. Yeah, there are 26 different unknown, and for a side, for a very stupid side quest. Oh shoot, you have something that's super effective, huh? But yeah, for a stupid side quest much later on in the future, you have to catch all 26 unknown. I'm not gonna do that, I'm not that insane because unknown are horrible. There we go, we got an unknown. Yeah, this is the only this is the only place you can, you can encounter unknown. Much like Ruinum, you have to come here for your Pokédex. You can't rely on every single trainer. When alone, nothing happens. However, though there's two or more, an odd power is said to emerge. No, I don't need this unknown. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop up my repel. Now there is actually many good items down here. First off, right here is a nugget. A nugget. Sells worth a thousand. Right here is HM05 Defog, which is kind of required for a side quest coming up. Right here we get ourselves the Mind Plate. Two make matter, and three make spirit, shaping the world. And right here we get an odd incense used to breed Mr. Mime into um Mime Jr. Yeah, the incense, they are kind of interesting. In fact, what is the mind? I mean, there's like two different side effects for, for these things. Oh yeah, this is the, uh, the thing that speeds up. Yeah, the scrolling speed in this game is kind of pretty slow. Odd incense, increase the power of psychic type moves. Hell yeah. You don't need no amulet coin. You need the odd incense, that way you're even more powerful. But I'll give the amulet coin to you, Star Fury. And now I'm actually going to meet you guys outside. Oh wait. I forgot something. I'll meet you guys up towards the top. Hello, Mr. Hiker. I heard the HM Defog was somewhere in these ruins. It does... It doesn't lost now. Anyways, you want to talk to this guy with, with, with HM Defog, and then you'll be able to, uh, give him... Let him teach Defog to a Star Raven. You're able to get yourself a green shard. Always happy in my pocket. But yeah, Defog. I just say there are better HMs in the world. Now then, um, I wonder if any of my Pokemon can learn Defog. I mean, Defog is required for two dungeons in the game. It's annoying. So I'm gonna go see if anything can learn Defog. And I'm gonna also take out my unknown. And yeah, I'll meet you guys somewhere else. Nothing can learn Defog. Back outside, I want to go down this little path right here and head into this house. Now I go ahead and talk to her. You can guess my talking about the uh, fixing seals on them. Oh, you don't have a seal case? Well, here you go. You obtain the seal case, which is used to equip seals. Next, here are some seals. Here you go. Once you know seals work, you need a Pokemon Center. You go on ball castles and you're able to put on seals. However, though, seals can be pretty annoying because when you have to switch Pokemon out of your party, yeah, you have to remove the ball capsule. And yeah, so you get some seals, and now you want to talk to this little guy. Oh, that unknown just looks like my seals. I'll give you a bunch of seals that look like it. The D seals were put away in the case, yeah. You can talk to that guy, and you're able to get many different seals from A to Z. And also the exclamation points, too. But yeah, so now... Hmm. You know what, I'm going to go catch me a Saravia quick. Now, back outside, I'm just going to say this now, TMHMO5 Defog is not really that useful. I mean, it's used for like a couple areas and such, but the area we are going going into, we will have to go through some fog. Hence, HM Slave. Eh, it doesn't really matter why I teach and why I don't teach it. But, yeah. Now, this episode's gonna be very long because I'm going through another dungeon. 
And yeah, so, um, hey, for slug for, uh, Starfire becoming a strong Pokemon, yeah. Well, let's go in there fast and Starfire, and then I have to kill it. Wah. But anyways, right here. Welcome to the Lost Tower. Also, if I and before I forget, I also love this. I love this theme. No, seriously, it was like, Eternal Forest is probably one of my favorite things in the game. As in, like, at first it was like, and then it grew on me. This is where spirits rest. Please be quiet and respectful. I will make as much noise as I can! This is the Lost Tower. There, are, There is a persistent fog that thickens the higher you climb. If you can't use the move defog and you won't have any business here, there's no need to go up. So yeah, this is why I want to wait till you get the fog. The fog is pretty much required to go through here. There are actually many items in here, such as right here. We get a honey. So let's go ahead and fight a trainer here. Nah. No, do I have any new new encounters here? Um, no. Yeah, because all the other Pokemon you can find here are in Eternal Forest. And such, yeah. So anyways, this guy is a trainer vendors because he has a mother. You know, Deathblade? Sure, you might have had some run-ins with uh, a lot with a lot of other Pokemon, but I think this is finally your episode to finally shine. Besides, Star Fury just killing everything. What's next? It's Shadot. Ooh, another po trainer of Pokemon of interest. Kill it. Yeah, because also one thing before I forget is that one thing I like to do is use at least two Pokemon in every playthrough that I've not used before. And I've just finished that requirement because I was like, eh. Also, Barboach, three new Pokemon! But yeah, I mean, I've never used Shellos before. I've never used uh, Togepi before, and I've never used Scyther before, so it's three new Pokemon I haven't used before. Yeah, I've, uh, I've used all the stars before, I've used Alakazam before, and I, will, and I have used the final Pokemon I will use on this team before. <laughs> hey, you're no ghost. That's right, I'm not a ghost. I am worse. I'm a potato. Oh, I forgot to get him right in front of him. Let's skip down. Anyways, right here we get Oval Stone, so you'll be able to tr evolve a Happiny into a Shanty once it's held. Still not really that useful. Now then, Fog! Fog is the most annoying ailment in the game, because it lowers everyone's accuracy. I hate that move so freaking- I hate Fog so much. It's like, why the heck did they have to put it in the game? Anyways, right here we get ourselves a cue ball. My Pokemon were taken from me. Kim Galactic did it. Ever since, I've never forgiven their faces. So this guy has had a nasty run with Team Galactic. So what is he stuck down with? Kirby is stuck down with a Kalafa. You know, it does kind of make sense. Even though it would probably make more sense with an Igly buff. Then again, those two would probably be doing it out in Smash at this time. Eh. Team Jigglypuff for life! Yeah. I ain't no Kirby user, I'm a Jigglypuff user. Wah! So actually seeing NPCs being affected by Team Galactic is actually, um, pretty, pretty actually kind of cool because he, he was affected by Team Galactic and then now his Pokemon probably f are gone and so he's now left with the Cleffa. I'm not doing my Pokemon any favors by ru ruining this memory like this. I can't be walling around forever. I gotta move on and turn the page. Quite depressing, actually. Anyways, right here we get ourselves a revive. That is actually very morbid for a place like this. A place of the dead Pokemon and a thing that, that brings Phoenix Pokemon back to life. I mean, if this were like something like Final Fantasy, Phoenix Downs, which heal, which um, brings people back from pretty much um, their, their form of fainting. Back to life and then use on a zombie, it insta kills him, yeah. Fight more for a place like this. Anyways, up ahead we have this guy. I wonder if he has any new Pokemon. There's always a little skip, and I can't explain it. There's bring Blah, being here compels me to battle. And Slug to grew to level 28. He's actually pretty good for one at this time. Huh? What was I just doing? Yeah, so I don't need to heal. Anyways, yeah, I do remember there, there being some pretty good. I'll be right back. 
Yeah, telemarketers do not know, do not really care. Well, actually, it wasn't telemarketer, just it was a different call, but ugh, so much ba space being taken up by my computer. Anyways, continuing on, every floor is gonna have defog, so you're gonna have to go into your menu, use defog. I'm <laughs> when they eventually remake this game, Gen 4. I hope they get rid of the fog. I seriously hope that, because the fog is just so bad. Anyways, right here, I need to shake up my sorrow. Please battle with me. My sorrow has deepened. Ah, fun. Well, we have a duo right here. It makes no difference where we are. You have Pokemon with you, so I'd right. So I reckon you ought to have a battle. My, my Pokemon is the lively one. Show me how. Let me show you how much. They don't like Sorgopod. You know that was really useless! You got a lot of galley up to get to go. Aren't you a lively one? Ah, Healing Wish is honestly like the third worst move in Pokemon. And like, I really don't like, I mean, it could be worse, it could be Memento, which is actually like the second, probably the worst move. Because Flash has its own sentimental value, and plus, it's really darn useful in Black 2 because you're able to get an achievement if you're able to use Splash in Battle. But Healing Wish, no real purpose. Eh. Well, anyways, come on over here and meet yourselves. TM27 return, the second... It's the second return. You've already seen what it does. Oh, wait, there's an item around here. Where? Right here, we get ourselves a Great Ball. It should be the last turn on the floor. And, uh, yeah, I'll use these two. This better be worth it. I can't bury myself again, not in front of my girlfriend. I don't want to look bad again, not when my boyfriend is watching. Wow, rough couple much? So, ooh. Murkrow, I think that's an... I think this is a painter of interest now. Because of Murkrow. So let me go on ahead and kill that Murkrow off, and then might as well go Water Pulse at Mr. Devious. Micro, I don't expect it to live. It has low defenses. Yeah, it didn't last long. Though that mysterious is gonna be pretty annoying. Zergapod, I think you've been a victim of every single uh, possible thing that could go wrong. Like being paralyzed ten turns in a row. Being flinched like 90% of the time. I swear you're the bringer of bad luck. Well done goes mysterious. And a level up. Aw oh, jeez, man, that's a downer. It's making you feel hollow inside. Oh so hollow. So that's gonna be it for this floor. I think this is it actually. Yes it is, this is the top floor. So we wanna use the fog here, and if I remember right, in Diamond and Pearl, this is a place where you get the fog here. But anyways, right here. Oh, the fog is gone, and with it, oh my god, my heart. This is my thing. Don't be shy, take it. We obtained the spell tag. I think this is the one that... Yeah, I think this is the one that uh, Laura Z can't of encountering Pokemon. Lefantina. It's hard to tell what she's thinking, but she has a compassionate heart. You know, she's a regular visitor. Yeah, because ghost types. Let's make your journey off this place less frightening. Take this. Okay, this is the uh, less encountering one. The spell tag increased power of ghost type moves. The last hours were spirits of departed Pokemon are put to rest. Those that enjoyed long lives, those that were, that those times were short. All the departed Pokemon shall find solace here. Still very depressing. No, um, is there an item here? No, there's not. Okay, I'm gonna meet you guys at the bottom. 
Alright, with that all done, we've cleared we've cleaned up two different ruins and we explored most of Silesian town, so I think that's pretty good for an episode. Yeah, editing this thing's gonna be forever because right now my recording says 50 minutes. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty annoying to edit together. I wonder how long this episode will be, but we made a lot of progress this episode. However though, to the north lies Route 210, which is where we're gonna go next episode, so might I just say, next time in Pokemon Platinum, we're gonna head north on Route 210 and hopefully making it to the next town. See you guys then!